Avar. It's a, it's a new product for us. It starts really with the powertrain. It's got the 1.4 liter multi-air turbo engine, uh, 160 horsepower, 170 pound-feet of torque. It's got a heavy-duty five-speed transmission. It's got new uh, upgraded equal-length half shaft, so it's really got a tremendous amount of power uh, and torque for a pretty small car. We've done an extensive amount of track development for the Abarth. Uh, it really starts again with the powertrain, um, and then also with the chassis. So we've, the car's lowered 15 millimeters. It's got a 40% stiffer front suspension, a 40% stiffer rear suspension. Um, it's got new control arms. It's got a little bit more negative camber. So it's really set up for track performance, but still very good on the street too. So in the interior, there's really a, a few really nice, uh, unique touches with the Abarth. So it's, got a, it's got a great steering wheel um, with really nice thumb hooks. It's got a nice flat bottom. It's a really um, thick wheel, so it's really easy to hold onto and turn. Then it's got a great new sport seat. So it's got both in the cloth and in leather. It's got nice bolstering on the cushion and in the seat back to hold you in the seat while you're driving aggressively. So there's a couple of really important things on the exterior. One is the, is the front fascia. There's a split intercoolers that help cool the turbocharged air. They're in each lower corner, and what it does is it allows the cold air to pass through the intercooler and then kind of pass out the side of the front fascia to give that cooling performance for the air. Also on the front fascia, right around the Abarth badge, there's really cool, there's actually openings that allow cold air to pass into the engine compartment to then feed the turbocharged motor. So that's on the front, then on the back, there's very distinctive dual uh, exhaust with a lower diffuser and then a kind of a race-inspired rear spoiler that helps keep the downforces at high speed.